بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کیا اسٹوڈنٹس گڈ مارننگ ہاؤ آر یو ہوپ یو آر ڈوئنگ فائن اینڈ اسٹینگ سیف چھٹے از ایٹ آف دسمبر ٹو تھاؤزینڈ اینڈ ڈے از ٹیوزڈے اینڈ دس از یور سائنس کلاس Let's see what we are going to learn today in our science class. Today we are going to learn about heating and cooling. That is on your learner's book, science learner's book, page number 32 and 33. So kids, take out your learner's book and open page number 32. and put today's date on it. Today is 8th of December 2020. So you will remember that you learned this page and you read this page on 8th of December. You have, you have taken out your books. Good job. So let's start. So far, we have learned in this unit that materials can change by squashing you can squash the materials to change their shape you can twist the material twisting bending and stretching we have learned about these forces so far today we will learn about two new terms two new forces that are heating and cooling we will learn about how materials can change by heating and cooling so let's start heating what is heating heating means the process of making materials hot or warm as you can see heating is we can we can we can heat things by with the use of fire like we cook food we use heating with the help of fire we heat things with the use of fire like we cook food we use heating with the help of fire cooling cooling means the process of making materials cool and you can see in the picture as well we can cool things by keeping them in refrigerator or freezer some materials change when they are heated like if we heat chocolate its shape is changed chocolate melts when we heat it what is the meaning of melt melt means change from solid into liquid as you can see in this picture chocolate is melting it is turning into liquid butter also melts when we heat it let's watch a video of how butter melts on heat and then cools on ice or Okay students here you can see we have taken a material butter and we have put it on the candle flame and you, as you can see it was solid and now slowly it's turning into liquid it is melting and it is turning into liquid you can see small bubbles the solid butter has completely turned into liquid now we have turned we have melted the butter now we are going to cool it in ice i have put the same ladle i have put the same spoon in ice and now you can see slowly it's turning back into solid when we heat the when we cool the butter it's turning into solid that is the effect of cooling on butter when we heat the butter it melts when we cool the butter it becomes solid 
welcome students welcome back hope you have understood uh, the effect of heating and cooling on a material called butter now when water is heated when water is heated it turn into steam it do not melt because uh, it does not turn into liquid because water is already liquid when we heat water it turns it turns into steam okay what would happen if we heat eggs eggs are raw eggs are liquid when we heat them they will turn into solid solid means having a shape here in picture you can see a raw egg which is liquid and we when we are cooking it they are turning solid like boiled eggs fried eggs scrambled eggs or poached eggs they are solid when we heat the eggs they become solid when we heat bread in toaster what happens it turns brown and hard the the cold bread is soft but when heat it it becomes crisp look how pancake is made we are mixing eggs it's on your learners book page number 32 we mix egg milk and flour and then it's it becomes a liquid form when we put it in the heat when we heat it it becomes solid it cooks and it becomes solid as well some materials change when they are cool some materials change when they are cool like water change into ice when we put it in freezer water is liquid and ice is solid when we freeze the ice when we look uh, on your learners book page number 33 you can see a burning candle and this is a flame this is a wick the wick is a thread that burns and you can see the liquid wax here and the outside of candle is solid wax you can also cool materials a liquid will change into a solid if it is cooled to a low temperature if water is put into freezer it changes into ice here it looks and what you have learned some materials change when they are heated and cooled underline this sentence in your book and now now let's come to the homework your homework is do activity book page number 19 and you will write the answer of a question draw any five materials that are being changed by heat on learners book page number 32 you will write the answer you will write the name of the things on learners book on your science book this is your uh, activity book page number 19 you will match the things that are heated and cooled and this is your learners book page number 32 this is learners book page number 32 you can see different materials being changed you will write any five of them on your notebook you will draw them and you will write your names as well hope you have understood see you next time allah hafiz